Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Miss Haley from Code Speak Labs, and today we have a very fun project planned for you all. We are going to be making our own flying game in Scratch. Perhaps you might have heard of a game on the iPhone called Flappy Bird, where there's a bird that flies around and dodges a bunch of obstacles and it gets harder and harder as it goes on. So if you've played that game before, then you know exactly what we're building today. But this time we're going to be using our friend Scratchy the Cat. Without further ado, are you all ready to come along? Let's go! All right, everybody, we're going to jump straight into making our flying game on Scratch. So I have a brand new project open. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose a backdrop. And the backdrop that I'm going to be using is the blue sky. And for our sprites, we're not going to be using our regular Scratchy the Cat, so let's get rid of him. We're going to be using our flying cat. So let's choose cat flying. And we're gonna go into costumes. So for our flying game, our cat's gonna take a couple different positions. He's going to be flying upwards, downwards, left and right, left and right. So to make it look like he's going in that direction, we have to give him certain costumes. So to do this, we're going to be duplicating cat flying B costume. So let's duplicate, we can right click over our costume, click duplicate. After we've duplicated our sprite, we're going to highlight, or rather we're going to click and drag until we make until we see a box around the entire cat. And we're just gonna rotate him until he's pointing downwards. Awesome. All right, so let's go back to our code. All right, so we're back in our code. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to give our cat some movement for when the game starts. So we're gonna drag when green flag clicked. And we're going to go down into, let's see, looks and grab go to front layer. And then we'll also give this cat some text will say time to fly all right so once our game begins we want to give the user the ability to make the cat fly with four different buttons so it will be the up arrow the down arrow the left arrow and the right arrow so to do this we're going to drag the block called when space key pressed and we're going to drag four of those in our workspace and for each of these code blocks, we're going to change them to our arrow keys. So we're gonna have one controlling the up arrow, one controlling the down arrow, one for the left, and one for the right. Right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to switch our costumes every time a key is pressed. So when our up arrow key is pressed, we want to switch the costume. to costume called cat flying b because he's going to be flying upwards so cat flying b and then we're going to do the same thing for the down arrow except when we're switching our costume the costume should be on cat flying b2 perfect and then for our left and right arrow we're just going to keep the same costume which will be cat flying a We want to give him some movement now. So we are going to be working with what is called the X and Y axis. So our X axis goes flat. It goes across, it is called horizontal. It's a, called our horizontal line. Our Y axis goes up and downwards. So when we press our up arrow key, we want to make sure that our cat goes upwards. So we're on the Y axis and we're gonna go up meaning increasing. So we're going to change y by plus 10. Now for our down arrow, we're on the y-axis again, we're gonna be going down. So when we're going down, we're decreasing. So we're going to be changing y by negative 10. 
And then for our x-axis, which is left and right, so horizontal across, we're going to be changing our x. So if we're going left, we are decreasing our steps. So we're going to change it to negative 10. And for our right arrow, we're going to be increasing. So we should be changing x by positive 10. So let's test it out. Press the green flag, time to fly. There we go. Down, up. Awesome. All right, so the next thing we're going to do in our flying game is we're going to be adding some scenery to our backdrop. So in order to make our cat look flying, we're going to be adding different buildings and trees. And we're going to make it look like the cat is flying by changing its position on the screen whenever the green flag is clicked. So we're going to go down to choose a sprite and we're going to look for buildings. And then we're going to go down to choose a sprite again and we're going to add some trees as well. Awesome. So let's go to our building first. And we're going to drag a couple blocks in our workspace to make it look like our building is moving whenever the green flag is clicked. All right, so here's what we've written. When the green flag is clicked, the building is going to start at an X position of 250. So it should be somewhere around the right side of our screen. And what's going to happen is inside of our peep block, we're going to change its position by negative five, a hundred times. So let's see if that happens. There we go. All right, so we're going to do the same exact thing for our tree. We're just going to change its starting position just a little bit. All right, so let's test this out. All right. So we're going to add an item that our cat is going to catch for our game. So we're going to go down and choose a sprite and you can add whatever item you want. Um, I'm in a sweet mood, so I'm going to choose donut. And we're going to do the same thing we did for our tree and building. So we want to make our donut move. We want to make it look like it's moving across the screen. And then at the end, we'll worry about what happens if our cat catches the donut. And then we'll also add a go to random position for our donut to make the game harder. So that when we click the green flag, our donut will appear anywhere on the screen. And it's our job as the cat to catch it. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to write code for what happens when the cat touches the donut. So that's, a, that's the objective of our game. So we're going to drag one green flag clicked again, and we're going to add a score variable. So we'll do we'll drag set my variable in. We'll change it to score. 
Let's show it in the screen. And then let's drag a few blocks. So we dragged in our if then statement. What we're checking for is if the cat touches the donut. So we're going to go into sensing. So we're in our donut right now. If the donut touches the cat flying, we're going to play a sound. And then we're going to change our score. So let's go down to change score by one. And then the donut will immediately change its position afterwards. And then let's wait a couple seconds. So let's try this out. Ooh. This is kind of hard. All right, so that gives you the basics of making your own flying game. So if you want to enhance your game, feel free to add in more scenery, more obstacles. You can add clouds in the background, more buildings. Um, you can add more donuts, as many as you want. So there's many ways that you can um, take this flying game a step up. All right, folks, that's all we have for you all today. If you enjoyed today's flying game project, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure you all tune in every week to our YouTube channel where Coach Jangus will be doing a coding live stream. And last but not least, we cannot forget the most important part of our day. Cue the virtual applause. All right, thank you all for tuning in and we'll see you next time. My name is Coach Haley from Codespeak Labs, logging off. See ya.